New in theaters this weekend, Oscar-nominated director Jean-Marc Vallée teams up with actors Jake Gyllenhaal and Naomi Watts for Demolition, the story of a grief-stricken man who forms an unlikely connection with a customer service rep. Marcy McMillan had the chance to sit down with Vallée last fall at the Toronto International Film Festival. Dear Champion Vending Company, this letter is in regards to vending machine 714 located in St. Andre's Hospital, which should have given me peanut M&Ms. Regrettably, it didn't. The machine over there, my candy's stuck. It happens sometimes. I found this upsetting as I was very hungry, and also my wife had died 10 minutes earlier. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we talk about the relationship between Jake Gyllenhaal's character and Naomi Watts' character? Because it's not, at first you think it's going to be a romance, but it doesn't yeah. turn out to be that way. No, they're not going through, uh, it's not going to turn out that way exactly. And there, there is some attraction, there's some sexual attraction there. It's, uh, but this is not what it's about. And uh, there's a difference of age too, but there's a mutual attraction. And this guy, you know, becomes almost uh, like a kid. He's allowing the kid inside of him to take over again. I mean, what do we do with this kind of couch? Cut to couch fort, and they're inside. You know, <laughs> they're so they're so playful, and they're like two lost souls that find each other, and without realizing it and wanting it, they're gonna help each other. To find their way, to find the light again, because they're lost, and they're hurt, and they're like, and and it's 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 very very uh, yeah, it's beautiful to see them uh, being kids and and uh, not going there into the romance, and uh, even at the end, you know. Who taught Jake Gyllenhaal how to dance like that? Him, he's a, he's the man. He's uh, he has a Gene Kelly inside of him. He came and, up with uh, that on his own. No, well, I we gave him the idea. You know, I, I had the idea. I saw this music video and uh, I, saw, I showed it to Jake and said, "How would you like to uh, dance? You know, and go crazy like this guy in the streets of New York?" And I think it'd be good for the character to, you know, he's trying to feel something and and it'll be good for this relationship between Davis and the kid. The kid is contaminating Davis' life with his taste, with his music taste. And then when Davis sees the kid playing the drums, like, oh, wow, and he starts to move. His music is not part of his life. His life is about making money, doing it, having a house, two cars, a wife, and and, and then he forgot, he, he forgot to live, and he feels numb, he doesn't feel anything. Where exactly do you feel now? You know, and so, so the kid make, gives him, you know, put some music in his iPhone, and then we see him trying to, again, trying to feel something, and now it's true rock and roll, through this kid's music, you know, and, and another relationship there where these two help each other, you know, and it's beautiful at the end. You know?